Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. So this video is technically one day late, just like I did for Basara. Uh, Basara, there was a reason behind it because I wanted to get the event gacha tickets before I did the video. But this time round, the main reason, I think it's going to be the same every month from now onwards for all the 7 star featured gacha is because, well, um, technically, <laughs> The second featured 7 star gacha is only like a day space between from the first featured gacha so it's technically a bit too cramped uh, especially when it comes to YouTube content uh, you know some of you guys won't exactly get the chance to watch the previous one before the new one actually comes up on the channel it's like back to back so why not space it out as well just like the game does so here it is this video is one day late um, fashionably late <laughs> So before we dive into the gacha stuff, I forgot to actually mention in the Basara video um, what the new stuff were introduced into this game. So I'm sure most of you guys who have been playing the event right now that's going on and have actually um, attained you know, the rewards. So um, especially for you know the episode plates featured in the end, event. Um, normally, we would get, um, you know, either a brand new backdrop for our menu screen or a brand new Valkyrie. Strangely enough, the episode plates this time round gave us a brand new costume, which has never happened before. So, luckily enough, um, the costume is unlockable via all the episode plates within the event itself so if you guys have been grinding um, you would have gotten enough points if I'm not wrong to unlock the entire costume so let's dive into the costume section the episode list and take a look let's see how many costume points I have for Makina's brand new Halloween costume Oops, I should filter this. Yep, let's filter it to the character. Here we go. So where's Ma uh, yeah, Makina's Halloween costume. So as you can tell, it's blinking blue. So technically, you should have enough costumes. There we go. So technically, the fully evolved version of the 6-star episode event episode plate will give you more than enough points or exactly, exactly enough points to actually unlock um, the costume for Maki Maki so that's pretty fantastic so I think Dana is going to plan um, all the ticketing events to be like this from here on out so technically this is a semi update video for the ticketing event itself so hopefully you guys pay attention to this because if you want costumes that are now locked behind event episode plates I, I'm sure you are able to gain costume points for this costume eventually in the future um, the Dana might put it into the gacha system eventually in the future or who knows it might really be locked behind event episode plates so for those of you who are free to play players you definitely want to pay attention to this factor work hard gain the two copies of the five star episode plate and unlock the costumes um, to what the diva are being featured and this time round we are getting it for Maki Maki so yeah um, so yeah it's it's not like you know um, it's a bad thing you miss out on it but you know if you want to pair Rei Rei with Makina in her Halloween costume I guess this is one costume you definitely need um, looking back at all the Makina costumes is there yeah so there is a different rendition of the bad version but now we're getting one that is a bit more revealing I suppose and yeah, it's purple <laughs> compared to the previous one uh, the previous one uh, has a lot of pins and badges and a lot more cloth compared to the one we're getting now so I guess Makina fans 
Uh, well, it's technically the same. It looks the same cost. It looks like the same costume. Yeah, it looks like the same costume. It's just that uh, it's a different color, I suppose. Yeah, but somehow it feels like it has less accessories and less cloth material. Yeah, I think the hair, the hair, the hair is different as well. Yeah, this is a twin tail. Oh, this is a single ponytail. Yeah, to the side. Kind of giving the misty vibes. <laughs> Anyways, um, aside from this, we'll talk about the brand new missions that actually started um, the same day as the, the ticketing event. And of course, there is Freya's birthday missions as well. Um, so make sure you do this. I don't really have to explain this, do I? I mean, the birthday missions are pretty straightforward. Just use the birthday girl. Birthday Diva, Birthday Basara, you know, whoever is being featured on the birthday banner. Use them as the center diva and of course play the event song under the event tab. Well, not, e not the event page, mind you, and under the live event tab, not the event page. There's a difference. <laughs> and of course, with the missions that we really need to talk about is this one, um, which Technically, for us veteran play players, we don't really need to unlock them because they just give resources to upgrading episode plates. Well, except for the ones that are pretty rare, the, the materials are definitely something you need to look out for. And especially this one, which is the secret stone. Very, very crucial, but of course, there is a requirement. Um, so the secret stone is the most important one, so I'll explain that one first which requires you to clear 100 songs so it can be any song so as long as you've been grinding the ticketing event you should have this cleared no problem you can use skip tickets to help you clear this because it doesn't require you to do full combos as long as you have the word clear in any of your missions you can use skip tickets to help you out so the rest of them are pretty straightforward as long as you play like specific macross series songs like this one requires you to play the sdf macross macross 7 macross delta macross frontier um yeah so if you've been playing the event i know the event covers um seven um delta and i think yeah seven and delta mostly delta the other two are delta songs so where you're gonna get Frontier and SDF Macross? Well, technically, you could use SDF Macross and um, Frontier songs to gain tickets for the ticketing event. Um, you know, especially if you're trying to. Let me just give you a rough idea of what I've been doing. Um, basically, I've been using this SDF Macross song, and I've been trying to improve my divas. Uh, proficiency to the songs so as you can tell most of them are maxed out already so just use the songs either SDF Macross or Frontier song you know to try and max out the proficiency for your divas at the same time um, to gain tickets for the event you know that's my tip to you guys on how you can clear um, those missions if you want to gain those rewards which technically isn't exactly very important except for the rare materials and of course the secret stone for your episode play. Uh, of course those of you who are lacking in the um, the currency as well um, you know you can get it from here but of course the extra materials you can sell them off in the chaos exchange page um, um, if you have too many of them <laughs> which like us veteran players we are definitely uh, filled up to the max with them so we have a buttload of you know materials and cash already so for those of you who are struggling with resources this is a great chance to get them you know all right so with all of that said we are done covering the missions the birthday missions of course birthday missions uh, last for three days so make sure you gain all the wonderful stuff especially since day two does give the kawawa dolls for the diva uh, who's celebrating the birthday and of course the last day itself will give you skip tickets which is going to be very very helpful for the current event itself as well so please make use of the birthday missions as well to gain all those wonderful resources don't miss out on them 
and let's now dive into the gacha page and let's take a look at Kaname's brand new 7 star episode plate so if you guys actually noticed um, Freya's <laughs> <laughs> birthday missions date uh, remaining you know that I actually recorded this on the first day that Kaname's gacha actually <laughs> got a review so <laughs> I apologize for those of you who are missing out on the birthday uh, gacha I mean birthday missions itself because it's one day late for the upload <laughs> But I mean, you guys have been with me for four years now, right? Right? I, I suppose you guys probably have watched most of my videos and are familiar with the birthday missions by now. If you guys aren't, please make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, watch through all my videos if possible. I mean, yeah, guys, that's what my videos are for, right? Alright, so let's take a look at Kaname's brand new 7 star episode plate. F total score at 4256. Of course, just like Basara. Ooh, what's with this fascinating number? <laughs> 2666 value on the charm. Of course, Kaname's uh, episode plate is a lot better since the soul points is a lot higher compared to Basara's episode plate. And of course, the voice is kind of similar to Basara's plate. Now if you're wondering, out of all the three Valkyrie Noble episode plates that are 7 star, um, the previous ones being Freya and Mikumo, which one is better? Now technically, Kaname's actually has the highest total score compared to Freya and Mikumo. And if you're wondering, why is this so? Well technically, um, she is the leader of Valkyrie and the other two episode plates are of the two other styles so Kaname is covering the pink series um, Freya of course is covering um, the yellow one then of course Mikumo is covering the blue series so technically all three seven star Valkyrie noble episode plates are covering all three series and that's pretty much it you know of course Reina and Makinas are not seven star they are the only ones who are getting it as a six star episode play rather than a seven star so that's kind of a bummer for Maki Ray fans but you know at least we get to unlock their costumes at a cheaper cost <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's move along. Center skill as usual, if you use the episode plate on a Macross Delta song, you get that double S rank, um, you know, center skill. So you don't really have to explain that much. All 7 star episode plates are pretty much the same. Active skill is pretty much the same thing as well. If it's fully evolved to its 7 star form, you get to activate it twice. Life skill, short duration score up so it's exactly identical to Basara except for the fact that Kaname's episode plate has two points higher <laughs> than Basara's total score so that's kind of interesting last page just like Basara and Freya and Mikumo none of the seven star episode plates have any special notes attached to them which is kind of a bummer all right so is this a must to pull well, technically, um, I guess it has more urgency compared to Basara since Basara's episode plate gacha does get um, a kind, you know, free template pool from the event gacha tickets. Uh, unlike Kaname, unless you guys are like me who are subscribed to the special pass, we get 10 tickets um, to make use of to actually pull Kaname's banner well technically for free um, well we did pay for the subscription so I don't know it's just an additional bonus uh, aside from that factor Kaname's episode play is really locked behind this banner so Kaname fans I feel your pain you have to use your safe up singing stones to pull this banner uh, of course if you have the 
cash to purchase the packs in the Singing Stone store, you definitely benefit the Step Up Gacha uh, a lot more, especially if you're trying to pull out your waifu's episode plate. Alright, so with all of that said, I'm gonna use um, the 10 tickets I got from my subscription service. Of course, we're gonna use the 300 Singing Stones discounted pool as well. And of course, like yesterday's or rather the, the first video <laughs> of this month, I'm gonna use the Super Dimension Gacha to pull as well to, to try and get the luck out. You know, we already got Basara's episode plate, so I don't know if we'll do the same for Kanami. But first of all, let's do the free daily pool. This is the afternoon session. Alright, so nothing that rare, I think. Oh, it's decently rare, considering that I don't have double digits for this. So that's not too bad. Okay, let's pull the Super Dimension Gacha first, just like we did for Basara's episode plate. Let's, let's try and repeat the situation. Hopefully it does repeat. Alright, so we do have episode plates that's going to expire. So let's see, 6, 1, 2, 3. So we're gonna... Okay, so the next expiration ticket will be on the 12th of this month. So that's not too bad. Here we go, 10 tickets. Hopefully we don't get anything nice from this one. Uh-oh. So it's an extremely quick load. So there is still a chance that the luck is still not there. Right, so no Valkyries at all. So that's a good thing, technically. I hope it doesn't drag out too long, this bad luck. Alright, so let's... I'm just going to skip everything because it's not going to be anything fantastic. There we go. So as expected. So we are, we are trying to pull out the good luck right here for Kaname's banner. And we're going to go ahead and do the free single pull from Kaname's banner first. Not this one. This one. <laughs> yes. Okay. No loading for the single free pool, so that's still kind of a good thing. Okay. Alright. Okay, so nothing fantastic. This is definitely a very, very common play. I think I have double digits. Yeah, look at that. So many! Oh my goodness. Is this, is this pool going to be bad? Alright, so we're going to use the uh, subscription tickets right here. I wonder which one will give me fantastic luck. So here we go, 10 pools with the subscription ticket. Ooh, okay, okay. Some decent loads right there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, seems like the luck is coming out. Three red boxes on the first bling. Okay, we do get a single rainbow box. Let's skip all the common stuff. Okay, getting a bit nervous. You can't be that lucky, right? I mean, it's a month that I'm not really uh, trying my best to get any six star episode plates. Okay. Oh, seems like we're getting a lot of Mikumo love. Even for Basara's video. We got some Mikumo love and uh, Mirage is there, so <laughs> I'm happy. Okay, so here's the second red box. No evolution to it. And get some Arad love. All right. Oh, Min Mei's Blade Evolve. Okay. So it's not a fantastic pool, but there is some progression right there. Let's see. How good is Mikumo's plate? Mm, kind of okay. Long score repeat. Not too bad. It's decent. Alright. Alright, here is the last hand plate pool with the discounted plate pool. I'm not sure we are getting the episode plate, but you know, if it does come out, it's it's nice. But you know, I would like to keep the luck for at least next month or at least the end of this month where Ranka's costume is around, so... 
We'll see, we'll see. Okay, here we go. Do I have to add Kanami's 7 star episode plate to my list of uh, yet to get 7 star episode plates? Who knows? One, two, three. Oh, Rainbow Orb! Oh, Rainbow Box on the first blink. Ooh, lots of red boxes. Is this. Is this it? Okay, let's keep going. No evolution on this red box. Ooh, Ray Ray Love. This looks new. Second red box. No evolution as well. You get some Arat Love. Hmm. Arat is technically. No, I forgot. Messer is kind of miss. <laughs> Pilot. <laughs> Oops. Okay! Ooh! We do get Kaname Love, but not the featured 6 star or regular 7 star episode plate, still. Gotta love the swimsuit design. Okay, last red box. No evolution? Eh, it's fine. Like I said, I, I wasn't really aiming to get these 7 star episode plates, but you know, if they do come out, it's always welcome. So yeah, I'm trying to conserve my luck. Let's take a look at Kaname's episode play. 3604, it's pretty decent as well. Well well spread stats all around. Score and damage, that's not too bad. Alright, so no special notes attached to it. So pretty decent episode plates for both Mikumo and Kaname. Um, so yeah guys, that's it for today. Hopefully all the information has been useful to you guys, especially for um, the costume release for the event you know this is something new and of course the missions for the materials for episode plays especially for free to play players hopefully you guys are working hard and trying to unlock them and yeah what do you guys think of Kaname's brand new 7 star noble episode plate um, is it something that you want does it some is it something that you need you know especially if you're lacking in the um, seven star episode plates for Kaname or Walkure, you know, or even for the series color, you know, that kind of stuff. Let me know everything in the comment section down below, as always. And of course, do the wonderful stuff like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Bye!